New matter is coming out next week on the 3rd of September. There are a couple things to keep in mind about this psychological survival horror game. Let me set the stage by explaining what's actually going on here. So the game basically has a pretty cryptic but also immediately interesting start. Our character wakes up at precisely 3.33am with some creepy person standing outside the window. We play a detective who has had some kind of traumatic incident that requires him to take pills for his memory loss and from there, without spoiling anything from the story. Everything just kinda escalates to the point that you're taking matters into your own hands and heading out there searching for answers. There is a small heads up I should give you and that is concerning the voice acting. Yes, you are in fact not playing a silent character. Your character makes some comments on what's going on, swearing if something happens or talking to himself when he's trying to keep a cool head and I personally like that. It is kinda refreshing really. The the voice actor of the character actually responded on a YouTube video about the quality of his voice acting, which can sometimes sound a bit rough, mainly because the game didn't have a dedicated sound designer. Keep in mind that this game was made by a very small developer team. With that said, I had absolutely no negative experience. I would actually say the voice acting sounds very authentic and the general sound design and ambient sounds enhanced the experience rather than degrade it. So yes, the voice acting from the main character can sound a bit different here than you are used to, but it's still mostly a good performance and so is the voice acting from the radios and stuff. Take a quick listen for yourself. The risk of being overflowed by a break in the dam. If you are currently located within five miles of the Woodrow Dam, there will be emergency shuttles stationed there ready to evacuate. No! No, no fucking way! What is it about this fucking town? Shit! Something that this game does well is the minimalistic user interface. It is kept to a minimum. Your inventory is a simple backpack with not all that much space. You can use an external storage to keep that in check. Speaking of inventory and items, the game seems to be a mix of games like Resident Evil and also Outlast, at least when you think about how the story is set up. So that of course means there are items like bolt cutters, painkillers, bandages, ammunition and more that can help you progress the game and keep yourself alive. Yes, you heard that correctly. Combat is very much a thing in this game. This isn't a walking simulator. Some of the things we had access to were, for example, pistols and shotguns. Now, this game is marketed as an actually scary and terrifying game. And while the monsters themselves, so far at least, don't seem too frightening for me personally, the atmosphere is what makes up for it. This is probably the most important aspect of any horror game out there. And fortunately, this is pretty damn good so far. until this storm clears. And this is it. If your time was respected, I very much appreciate a like or a comment.